Oh. Oh my god. That's disgusting. Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. No, God. Lyric. We're back with our new show, Fallout, Season 1, Episode 1. Guys, before we start, just to let you know, if you are a member of our Patreon, uh, we'll be giving away a free Amazon gift card. Uh, just to say thank you. We want to do things like this more often. They won't always be gift cards. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, you know, we'll put all the names in a bucket or a hat. What should it be? Hat. Big top hat. Big top hat. We'll do that. Or we'll get one of those ones that will randomly, you know, pick one. Guys, uh, just so you know, before we jump in, this was written, and I think it's being show ran by Jonathan Nolan. He did... Uh, Christopher Nolan's brother. Christopher Nolan's brother. He's helped him write many things. He created this show called Westworld. He helped write Inception. He's done many great things, so I'm a huge fan of his. Um, now, that being said, I've never played a Fallout game. I own Fallout 3. Never played it. I own Fallout 4. Never played it. And uh, that's pretty much how it goes in my life. Now, have you guys ever played anything? I know you haven't, <clears throat> because I haven't. I have. You put, when, when have you played one? No, guys, so <laughs> uh, we are in a little cabin. Um, that's where my new studio is, so you might hear some of the elements. Aaron so Yeager's out there. Hopefully it won't be too disruptive. Malk, I just know anything about it. I don't want to tell anything about it because... Uh, I play Fallout 76. You play Fallout 76? Yeah. When? I don't. I was like when I was younger. It was on the Xbox One. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, I did play a online Fallout game when I was at my old channel, Blind Wave, and um, it took place in West Virginia. Funny enough, so I was playing it with my streaming partner, and the game was getting a lot of online flack, um, like review wise. But I've never played it, and I loved it. I thought it was awesome, and I know they patched it, and it's a lot better now. But anyways, guys, before we jump in, if you do want to support us, uh, like I said, you can check us out on Patreon. We do have full-length uncut reactions. So we're actually going to try to put these up as fast as we can. But they will almost always hit Patreon first. All right, guys, let's jump in. All right, birthday boy. Let's get a photo of you up here on Sugarfoot. Why the hell is Cooper Howard booking kids' birthday parties? Good. Right. Good. Here we go, bud. Hey, do your thumbs up. Yeah, you know, given the state of everything, I prefer not to if that's all right. Why not? That's what you're famous for. Yeah. Why is he dissing on him so much? I don't know. I guess he's an out of work, famous person. Yeah. I still took my money. Well, back when I was in the Marines, they taught us that if they ever drop a really big bomb, Always to hold up your thumb just like this. Like the cloud is smaller than your thumb. Now you run for the hills. If it's bigger than your thumb, pretty good. They told us not to bother one. That's why the little blonde haired boy does this. Oh, There's like their mascot. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's cow folks who take it as a con, right? Does he wear blue and shit like that? I think no, he does. He does, he wears, yeah. Blue and yellow. Not like that, but he wears, yeah, yeah he wears, he wears blue. like yeah. He doesn't. Oh, yep. All right, one, two, three, coming up for my favorite cowgirl. Is it your thumb or mine? Oh, you see that, like, smoke? Yep, and the reflection. Would there be... Smoke, Jenny, it's just a fire. Oh, my goodness. A fire? Uh, uh, that's, uh... That's awful. The sound wave's coming. Get in the pool, get in the pool! You gotta cover her body, like he went. <clears throat> Throwing a love in there. I would let him in. Wow. There's no room. What do you mean, no room? Came on his horse. <laughs> but honestly, dude, you don't want. In the apocalypse, gasoline goes bad in like six months. Um, all the roads will be blocked up with people trying to leave the city. Horse yeah. can go everywhere. So I hope we learn. Oh more. my God! There's fucking other bombs. So he's there's nothing he can do. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Uh, or he's not. My name is Lucy McLean, and I'm an active contributor to the. Well so there's that guy, that mascot. Yeah. My primary passion is teaching American history with a focus on ethics. So 2077. 
intermediate phys ed. She's gonna use those skills later. And I dabble in riflery. <laughs> my reproductive organs are intact. My hygiene well maintained. I have been unable to find a suitable marriage partner. Oh, okay. It is with sound mind and body that I hereby submit my application to the council to participate in the triennial trade with Vault 32. Triennial trade. She said yes. Give the thumbs up. That's probably yes. That'd be nice. Oh, so other people have obviously had to wear that dress because... Feels a little tight. Won't be for long. On my wedding night, that dress got off almost as fast as Bert did. What if you're fat? Old Wilbert. That's true. It's your 10 years of cousin stuff. I'm definitely excited for the real thing. Cousin stuff? I don't understand this. Unless it's like a painting. Yeah, Actually, be. it might be. Okay, it's like Not a... projector. Oh, damn. It looks pretty good. Wish she was here. How did you know? I just know that's what we say. trailer? No, I just, that's what they always say. I've seen enough of these things. Norman. I don't think Norman's long for this world. At. Honestly. Textbook Tumblr Jam. It's gonna take some time to fix. Maintenance and I can't. What's going on? Lucy, I love you. He's alright looking. You're my cousin. Was it his. Was it. Messing around with your cousin, it's all well yeah. and good for kids, but it's not a sustainable long term sexual practice. I think they're all related, practice. you know? Sexual practice? It might be. This, I hope this guy is better be some six, seven Norwegian model. Maybe. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, we were so sorry. I think the Volts are connected. Okay, yeah, that's all, yeah, that's all I thought. When blight hit our week. As arranged, we offer you seed and parts for machinery. In exchange, we offer you a brooder. So, <laughs> who am I marrying? <laughs> I'm Lucy. Do you have a name? Oh, he's all right. Monty like our cat. Monty like Monte. Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> something's, something's going on. Oh, you know you don't so really apply. All right, I'm leaving straight to business. Sperm is pretty important in perpetuating America. <laughs> America? Radiation levels on the surface are dropping fast enough that the next generation, Lucy and Monty's children, will be able to recolonize. <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, the 100. Yep. That's what I was thinking about. When you <laughs> Poor cousin. Hmm. Show me to my new home. It looks creepy. Uh oh. Yep, something's happening. Yep. Yep. We yeah, but you see that girl right there. You just. Oh, isn't it great? Every big moment of our lives, it's gonna happen right here. With the hand me down. Oh, never mind. He just wants to have fun. <laughs> He wasted no time. Nice ass. <laughs> she, had enough, she had enough practice for their cousin. I think it was implied that when they were kids, maybe they were messing around. You take the dress off. I ain't be trying to do it with some girl in a dress like that. You can't see anything. Lord. Okay, don't get too happy over there. <laughs> yeah, don't get turned on, dude. Oh my god, don't be spying on your sister, dude. No, he's going the to way to 33. Is this like the in-between or? This is, oh, he walked over to their 32. Oh, oh, cause they had a blight. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's about to do something. I don't, I don't, I don't like him. Something bad happened there. Yeah. Is this where they're from? Yeah, 32. Oh. I get it. Oh. You kidding me?
Yeah, radiation. Yeah. Love me. Raiders. Oh. oh. Dude, you don't do that to a chick. Damn. Cut his dick off. Yeah, dude, she's... Him? Oh. She stabbed him. He stabbed her, I think. Oh, you're fucking right. Damn. You figured he'd be so malnourished being from the surface. Oh. Oh my god. That's disgusting. Don't take it out. Get the blood from go. Yeah, that's a... God. I don't know. It's probably something from the game. He uses a stem. It's like a med kit. He's... Into the armory. These... Damn raiders. Look at them. Where's her dad and brother at? This is a gun. What kind of gun is that? Air gun? I don't know. God damn. Really, dude? Look at how happy he was to raid. God. Oh my god, I'm running away. What are you doing? Look at these fucking people. Uncivilized. God. Dude, these people have the secrets of civilization, like how to garden. They have the engineers. So they have their engineers here. These people are just like the, the fucking. <sighs> oh. Her husband. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yo, the dad's probably fucked. A bunker is out of the bunker. Oh. Whoa. She lied. How the? Ew. Yep. He cut her neck. He cut his neck. Where's the dad? How Dad's gonna die. Dude, I'd make sure he felt it. Like, you gotta be dead. Is that drown him? Drown him in Not pickles. The pickles, damn it! I love pickles. Are the product of one of life's tricky little choices. I'm gonna offer you a choice. Them or her. Hey, 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 stop! 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 Well, he's not gonna die. Screw them. You look like your mother. What? Oh. Where are you taking him? To the real world. And that's why she's gonna go out. Maximus. That's a great name. How's your nose? I can still smell. She's mostly blood. <laughs> The duty of the Brotherhood of Steel. Brotherhood of Steel. Swines. Can you identify this relic? Uh, <clears throat> Jesus. Circuit. Sure. Oh, dude, yeah, they're from the freaking the cover of the game. Fault. Yeah. Imagine getting to put on one of those every day. Those are freak. Oh, holy crap. That's awesome. <laughs> That's me and Lyric pulling up a couple years. Yeah. Come on, I got something I want to show you. Latrine duty is a two person job. Latrine? Ugh. Well, shit isn't going anywhere. Those are the things. Oh, yep. And I've seen those little, like, Coke machine looking things, yeah, too. Yeah, all that. I'm wrong, yeah. Mm hmm. Flashback. He got saved by one, didn't he? Yeah. This was my idea. He didn't want. Come with me. 
Oh, they're gonna kill him. I thought so. I guarantee Dane became a. Uh, What's going on? Yeah, she. She. Yeah. A bunch of us were chosen to get anointed. Hey, what's your title gonna be? Squire. Tonight, Titus. And get this, we're going to the wild. Hell yeah! Good job. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's probably. I think it was him? Dude. What? There's a bro and there's a smile. I have a proposal for the assembly. I'm surprised that many people alive. Yeah. We send a search party to the surface to find my dad. Surface? We can spare four people from farm duty for up to two weeks, even talking about. Opening the outer vault door? Just for under a minute. There's no bad ideas in a brainstorm. Maybe what? Do. That's not something <laughs> we ever do. What I happens? know we're all hurting right now. But our first priority has to be to maintain the security of this vault. <laughs> he seems like he's in charge of like, the doors and stuff. Yeah, but if he has got all the codes, though, what happens if he gets killed? I'm sure they all know. <laughs> I'm going with you. Ted, what you're doing is insane. You don't even know which way to go. I'm not letting anyone else get hurt on my back. Okay. I just tracked him. Now it's the same to you if you try to follow me. Yeah, you would like. <laughs> You've never seen something before. Yeah. Stop! Lucy! Are you mad? Come back here right away! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're talking to her like she's, you know, in high school or something. Never seen a bright light before. Yeah. Or light that bright. Just artificial light, you know? Dude, you can't go up there, like. There's like a fucking, oh god, it's like they were Pompeii. Yeah, they were, uh, they preserved in that stuff. She's never seen anything like that. We have given you a name. We expect you to give us. I want to answer. The truth. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me? I understand you're a friend of Aspirin Dayton. Do you know who did it? No. Your fellow Aspirin say it was you? Because they don't like him. Shoot. No, I, 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 I wouldn't. Why not? You have ambition, don't you? Scary. Yeah, I know. Speak. I, oh. I didn't. I did. He looks kind of guilty here, but. I, I wanted it to happen. Is that wrong? Yes. Violence against a brother of steel is a sign of weakness. God, that's scary. I don't want to be. Right. <sighs> I want to thank you for giving me a home. I I had no place in the world, so if I can help the Brotherhood make it better, night. Even if it means giving my own life, Ooh. I'll do it. Good boy. And you will 
be Knight Titus, new squire. Oh. They said I'll still have a place in the Brotherhood. <laughs> I heard you got my spot. They asked if it was you. I told him you wouldn't hurt a fly. It's right that he looks guilty. You know I what know, I mean? He still looks guilty. After which, it is your most sacred duty to protect your lord, Knight Titus. So he, oh. does, he doesn't get the wear of the armor, he just gets to follow him around. So that's Titus. Yeah, but I think the first step to becoming an armor guy is to be a squire. Oh, that's why I heard so bad. He's not even screaming. I'm smiling. Did someone do that earlier? Like someone was drawing that earlier. I forgot who it was. Yeah. It was back at vault at the at the vault though. They're wired into your nervous system, so maybe they move when you move. I want to see the relationship between this guy and the Titan the, the, the knight. Look at that dude with that shitty mustache. It's a skanky looking. It's obvious that he didn't do it. What, what? the fuck was that? <laughs> what? That is what was that? No. The baby foot. <laughs> It was a baby foot. Shot by a baby foot? <laughs> Don Pedro has our friend dug up once a year. Cuts some pieces off and puts it right back in the ground. And what you guys did to me when I die. What? Dig me up every year and cut off little pieces. Bingo. Shit. You're telling me the supreme badass we're looking for is a godforsaken mutant? Hell, some respect. Pop worked with him once. How long has this asshole been moldering in the ground? How do we know he's not feral? That is why. A feral goon can't abide a chicken. What? If he goes for we kill it. <laughs> Freddy Krueger? It's... From the beginning. <gasps> is that that's him? That way, that's that's him. How's he alive? Radiation, probably. Wow, this an ominous production of the Count of Monte Cristo. This is the weirdest circle jerk I've ever been invited to. I'm Huncho. Now you don't even know us. No, I do not. A bounty came down. A huge one. Enough to be a last score for me and whoever. May a run from the enclave. Oh, it makes you think I'd give a good goddamn about that. It ain't where they's running from. I figured you'd be interested in as well. In California. That's where you from, ain't it? <coughs> Doesn't want to think about that. What the fuck would you know about where I'm from? Well, that don't sound like gratitude, do it, boy. How about we put you right back in that hole so Don Pedro can have his fun with you for the next 30 years? Whenever somebody says they do one last job, it usually means their heart's not in it. Probably never was. I do this shit for the love of the game. Wow. You. Damn. That's crazy. Lost his daughter, you know? I mean, it's terrible. The goal. Should you guys all, are these guys all going to be part of the team? I don't know. I mean, we're going to follow all their storylines, I guess, and then they'll probably Not him. combine. Yeah. Guys, that was a reaction. This is our discussion. Uh, what'd you guys think? I thought it was a pretty cool first episode. Yeah, Very sir. long. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a little long. It was like an hour and 15. I used to like 
45 minute yeah. episodes but I, I liked it though i wasn't bored i thought it was Same. cool seeing like the bunkers and stuff yeah how, like how they lived in there and what it looked like i think it looked kind of i don't know i don't know if it looks exactly like the game but this it's, it's the same idea though yeah so like i know a lot of fans of the games are gonna be watching this including right. one of my editors yeah and uh he was really excited and i know there are all kinds of breakdowns of the iconography uh from the show and in, including the trailer i saw a bunch i wish we had someone who is a really expert on the show so they know me too but I, I, so we know if it's like an, a good adaption like better than finds the freddy's but you know yeah, I know you love Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, for a long time, there was kind of like this understanding that it's really hard to adapt a video game. But I think that curse has kind of been lifted. I mean, the Mario Brothers movie was great. Um, Making his own. The Last of Us was great. Making. It did cover a lot of ground because I imagine all three of these characters. Um, uh, should we got Lucy McLean, uh, obviously Maximus, and then we have the goal. Um, and the goal was also from the beginning. Played by Walton Goggins, looked like to be a good guy, and then the apocalypse happened. I imagine his daughter's dead, oh, and yeah. now he's this evil son of a bitch, and with no the, nose. The, yeah, because I think can you he still breathe. You can breathe out of nose. Yeah, I know, but like it's you, a, can enhance, cool you have enhanced breathing. I'm interested actually in him quite a bit in his story, and I wonder. And we don't really need to see exactly what happens, but I would like to get a little more insight on kind of. His, like, from the apocalypse till now, what he's been doing, you know? I want to know how the, why the apocalypse happened. Um, I don't know. It looked like... It reminded me of, like, the Cold War. You know, it looked like the 1950s or 1960s. Um, uh, kind of with the way they were dressed and the music and just everything. And I would be, like, kind of depressed that it's all, like, fake, you know? That they had the projector. That's all your family and your cousins. And yeah, but if yeah, you grew up no like one... that... Yeah, but I would just want to know, like, what's outside, you know? Like, it would just get to me every day. I just want to see outside. You're also speaking for someone who hasn't been in prison in a bunker since you were born, know. you know? I'd feel the same way if you put me in there now. But if I was, if I never knew anything but that... Yeah. Uh, I think I would just be curious, though. No, I'd be curious, too. I mean, so... There obviously is radiation on the outside because it looks like shit, right? But... There's enough people thriving to where it looks like people could leave the vault. Lucy leaving the vault to find her dad. Do you, how do you feel about that? Would you guys do that? Yeah, I would yeah. do that. Yeah, would you do that to find your friend or your dad or your mom? Yeah. I'd be scared, yeah. Yeah. I would do it eventually. Like yeah. if I'd... Yeah, so I, I had a false uh, perception of, of, of this before I went in or conception. Um, I thought when you went out in the world, you had to wear that armor. Like, mm -hmm. I thought you were the player in that armor. I think in the game, that's the way it was. Okay. But I just spent so long on And you get that armor and you go out. Okay. Uh, I'm really interested in... The relationship, uh, the relationship between Titus and... Yeah, I'm interested in what he's like and who is he. Is he just... Is he this down-to-earth guy or is he this, like, hard veteran badass? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we had we had his friend Dane. So, so, someone sabotaged Dane's leg. Yeah, it might have been... Uh, we don't know. Yeah. Was Maximus like, was acting very... Like, yeah, like so some people might have insight to this and think we're stupid, but to me, it, it looked like there's no way that Maximus did it because from our point of view, like it looked like it just happened and it su even it surprised him. Mm -hmm. Now, this show could pull like a Westworld and then like you, you'll see what's really going on once they pull the veil. Uh, but it looked like to me that he was innocent, but I, I don't want to to find out that he had anything to do with that because that would piss me off. And even when he was talking to Dane, he was still being weird. Yeah, he was like, they said I did it. And then, and then Dane kind of was scared. like, I said you wouldn't hurt a fly. And then after Dane said that, Maximus looked, he just didn't look like confident. Yeah, he just kind of looked. Maybe that's a character. Is He's like this low confident dude and he wouldn't hurt a fly. What did you guys think of the massacre in the very beginning of the vault? Like, were you surprised by that? Because I was surprised. Yeah, I was surprised. Nope. I mean, I, well, I mean, nope. to be fair, I saw it coming because I said that. Mm -hmm. But I, I was shocked as I was starting to realize what was unfolding. I knew everyone was about to get strapped. I mean, as it was beginning to unfold, I was shocked at the, I was shocked at the idea of it. I kind of um, thought you guys were overreacting a little bit. I didn't think yeah. you know, something would happen that early, but uh, I guess you're right. Well, it's just like when you watch enough stuff, you know you have a sense. You, <laughs> Malachi's been waiting to say that. You have a sense. When you watch enough stuff, like you know, okay. I mean, but Malachi's right. Um, 
I could just see the faces. I just knew it was going to happen. No, it, to me, it just made sense for the story. Like, and it's, it's nothing to do with the writing being predictable. It's just there are natural paths to take in the storyline. Honestly, I thought what they were going to do was kill her dad and take the husband. The dad said, I think I know you. So he obviously has a bigger concept of the of the world. Oh, and that lady knew her mom, too. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's interesting. Anything in particular in the next episode that you guys are curious about? Just the ghoul's, like, backstory and how he got, you know, where he is now. Yeah. All right, guys, I think that's it for our post-talk. I hope you like it. And if you want to support us, just leave a comment down below. Tell us what you like, what you don't like, anything we missed. And keep it civil. Much love. And we'll see you guys. Won't be next week. We'll have it up sooner than that. So see you guys next time.